everybody, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Adventures, thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. Uh, it is a lazy Saturday for us at the moment. Well, for me at least it is. Dad's uh, down in the shed working his ass off as he always does. So, uh, we're just coming down to give him a bit of a hand and get our fishing rods ready for tomorrow. He's going to go for a little fish tomorrow afternoon, so... Gonna come down here and get stuff done. So without further ado guys, let's go. Fun little project with Dad. Finally finished up with doing all these. Did a bloody good job doing all that. I just, uh, I didn't do much. I just helped hold stuff and not much else. <laughs> so that's done. Now we're just getting sorted out for the fishing little fishing expedition tomorrow. We are modifying these up a little bit. Deciding to put this little handle here on this side. So we're gonna. Get started on doing that right now so we can uh because i'm starting to find a little awkward to try and cast it out with the right hand being up here and then happen to put the left hand there then reel it in by that way so i'm going to just swap those around on that rod and that rod because we're going to take both of those because that one's already set up with the rusty little thing i think i might actually change that around just the hook the uh, sink is fine. So, let's get into that. So what we're going to do with this, we're actually going to take the whole lot off because I do like to have a bit of space between the sinker and the hook. About a f oh, that's probably about what half a foot. So loosen this off just a little bit, and we'll replace the whole lot. Right. Yeah, I'll replace the whole lot. Bugger it. Just a little fishing knife. Just cut it like so. Always remember, ladies and gentlemen, sheath your weapons. I can I don't consider that a weapon, but anyways. Well, that'll make it easy. Scissors. Make it very easy for us. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna be using number one or number two hook with a long shank for tomorrow. So it uh, this is me ugly stick, me good old 40 pound rod probably is going to be a bit excessive for fresh water fishing tomorrow but I like to have a bit of a two sort of rods one with a line and sinker and the other one with a bit of a lure which is the other one has got on there which I'll show you guys in just a couple once we've uh, hooked this up there's those pesky bloody flies again alright so I reckon that probably ought to do it for length Maybe a little less. I reckon about that's good. What I usually do with this is I act like I'm hooking up. Uh, I should say tying up a hook, 
do the same sort of knot for the sinker six times around four five and six and then got a little hoop there and I take that and put it back through the back pinch it like that bring it back through the front and we should have something like that lever it all up and pull together and you got a hook that does not move and yet yeah, you still got from there to the end there which is what we are after weird thing is I always find uh, hooking up a 20 pound line which is that quite easy to tie anything down I just find it a lot easier to use I find that uh, with the other rod that I've got uh, over there which you guys would have seen just before it's got like five pound or seven pound line on it and it's just it's very difficult to use but I always find that, that this 20 pound line is so easy to use so easy to work with it is redonkulous so again guys the way I do this put it through the eye of the needle so that's how much space I have and well, again guys I like to hold it with my left hand and then start doing the knot. I always like to go around the back first, do it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then take the end, come around the back, through there like so and then back through the front if it, if it didn't go back right. okay so you through there and then through there and then you should have something like that again lube it up and what I usually do is I go and look for a pair of pliers of some sort not overly too big but just something in general to grab onto the hook so that you don't set yourself with the hook so it is a bit warm in the shed at the moment so and as well as why I'm sweating a little bit so I'll quickly find those um, pliers and then we'll go back over there I've got myself long nose pliers as I was saying guys you want to just grab the hook like so and then give it a good hard pull like so and that's not going to go anywhere now and tell you what nothing worse than hold on to that giving it a yank and then you're just bloody setting the hook into your hand I know there's probably a few of you guys out there that have probably been out fishing know exactly what that's like to have a hook through the hand it's not a pleasant feeling whatsoever alright so now we're just going to cut off excessive stuff there You don't want to cut it too close to the nut because otherwise it's just going to all come undone. And we don't want that because we want to be able to have whatever comes along to gobble that up easy enough without it coming undone. This is the lure that we're going to be using tomorrow. It is a soft plastic with a one sixth weight on the top. Hook's not too big, not too small, but we'll see how that goes tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how the whole left hand reel is going to be like. Because as I said, I was talking to Dad, I like to cast with the right hand up here like so. Sort of like just flick it out. And because every time I have to change hands to put my left hand here and reel it in. So we're going to see how this goes tomorrow. May or not, may not work. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to have one just with, as you guys would have seen just now, with the line hook, line sinker. The other just with a lure. We're going to probably use a couple of different ones tomorrow. Uh, we're just going to go, also going to run out today, grab some bait. 
Uh, I'm going to grab some little bits and pieces, probably grab some corn as well because we're going to do some carp fishing tomorrow. So that will be the main thing with the ugly stick because I know these uh, carp do get pretty big. Hence for the see how ugly stick is going to come with us. So I've already got half the other stuff in the car already. I'm going to go and dump these two and my little esky into the thing, into the car. Ironic that I've got uh, gone fishing esky for a little fishing trips like this. So I'm going to take these down to the car and go out and grab some uh, some bait for tomorrow. I'm going to grab some worms and potentially some corn. See how we go. So we've finally gotten to get down the road and grab ourselves some scrubbies that we usually use for freshwater fishing, which is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And luckily enough, the guys that we usually get our stuff from finally had the scrubbies back in stock. They were using at some point the A1 fishing um, fishing worms, but um, yeah, we finally decided to upgrade their worms to back to the scrubbies. So that is a bonus for us. So we've only got one more thing to do for tomorrow and that's grab ourselves a bag of ice which we'll grab tomorrow morning on the way through because um, I don't want to grab it tonight and it'll be already half defrosted for tomorrow because uh, it is at 10 o'clock tomorrow. 10 till 2 is the time that the meeting meetup is going to happen so I'm actually looking forward to it guys. It's uh, been a long while since we've been out and had any sort of fish probably been well and truly over 12 months at this given time to for us to even be out fishing I don't know less than that actually probably about six months probably about six months since the last time we had a decent fish it's been at least 12 months plus since we've actually caught anything so I usually do like to go out freshwater fishing usually so it's gonna be good fun to get out and meet new people uh, I will be filming tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to be using this camera. I'll probably use it for a little bit, and then, you know, before and after. And then in the middle, I'll probably use a GoPro to um, cop the action. And this time, I'm not going to have it on the chest mount. I'm going to have it up here on the head mount, so you guys get, like, a bit, a bit of a view on what I'm doing. Not only that, you won't probably, hopefully, won't hear me breathing as much. Because I know that uh, that really irritates me when I hear breathing. Uh, it's like the last video I did the um, the magnet fishing. You guys did hear quite a lot of me breathing, which I know does irritate just a little bit. So hopefully tomorrow it's not going to be as bad. Alrighty, so before we go and have some lunch, quite surprisingly it's 1.30 already. I'll give you guys a quick rundown on what we've got. So as you guys obviously know, we've got the scrubbies. We've got our little, little toolbox with our sinkers and all our hooks as you guys can see got some uh, leader wire there which we won't be using at any given time we have a couple of, long, a couple of little knives this one here with the orange on it is the bait which we use to cut up bait with and that one there the black one there is just something that we use to dispense the fish and fillet the fish we do have a couple of these style spinners that's just sitting in there loosely got ourselves a little ruler that we use to measure which is kind of cool because it does fold out to at least a meter and it's kind of cool because it's got all the names of the fish and sizes so that's a handy little thing to have. Also got ourselves a little cutting board that we use to mainly just cut up the bait. Got some more little sinkers. Got ourselves a hook remover from when it gets hooked into the fish. I've got a couple of these bells, two different styles. And I don't know if this stuff works, I don't know if it's a waste of time getting any of this stuff but we've got ourselves some S-Factor Ultraviolet Enhanced Scent uh, Squidgies It's good for salt water and fresh water Replace it every 10-15 minutes to 
get the scent out there. And finally, is all our soft plastics. Which, you know, we've got things like that. You know, we'll have to go down and grab some more. No, we've got some things like that as well. Got, uh, and some other stuff. Things like that. So that's basically stuff we're running at the moment. Uh, I may end up just having hooks for tomorrow. See how the all the stuff goes. So that's basically it. Oh, and I forgot the little stands that we use for the um, fishing rods that we sit on the beach, or it may be that we use it for. So that's uh, basically what we're going to be running tomorrow. So we've got the esky, which we haven't filled up, obviously, and we've got the fishing rods and chairs sitting in there waiting for us to use tomorrow. So for the final step of the day guys, we are going to check the weather for tomorrow, just to make absolutely sure it's going to be looking great and dandy, there's nothing worse than trying to go out somewhere, especially if it's over under 60 mile away, it uh, don't want the weather to be bad. <coughs> so we're going to be checking the Bureau of Meteorology for tomorrow's weather. So, Melbourne, Sunday is going to be a max of 28 degrees Celsius. See if I can change that. Uh, it's possible rain for 1 to 6 mil, but we'll see if that actually happens. 60% uh, chance of rain. So, let's have a look at this part. So it does look like it's going to be somewhat all right tomorrow. Hopefully we can uh, yeah, go and catch ourselves some lunch, maybe some dinner. Uh, they do have a competition going tomorrow for carp fishing. So I don't know if I'll go for that. If I do, I do. I don't. If I don't, meh. I'm not fussed. I much prefer to catch trout and redfin, but I'm not sure what's in the river. So I'll actually have a look at that while we're thinking about it. So, looks like there's a variety of things that we can potentially catch. It's saying here there is carp, trout, redfin, roach and eels. Carp is the primary species of choice here, therefore we would highly recommend using worms, corn, bread and maggots. So luckily enough we've got some worms and some of that little um, scent. So who knows if that's going to work or not, we'll see when we get down there. So nonetheless, I do have worms and some lures, so I'll be getting some tips from the fishing folk tomorrow on what is recommended in each lake or what techniques they use. So that'll be certainly a fun thing to sussy up. It'll be certainly good fun to figure out what they use and how they do it and so on and so forth. This is what it looks like from one side of it. Let's see if there's any more photos. That's the size it can't let you get. That's a decent size. That's a decent sized bloody carp. Uh, blue green algae have been an issue at times. So read local reports, blah blah blah. Just saying all the usual stuff. What sort of bait? What's going to be the high one? Simple running sinker rig with a uh, pea size sinker works great in the area. So, does uh, spending the same baits with a float 
blah 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 okay so I don't know if the uh, pl soft plastic that we've got on one, the other rod is going to work but we'll certainly give it a go tomorrow uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So guys, we're just going to do some finer tuning for this afternoon, uh, for the rest of the day. We're going to get some things prepared for tomorrow. I'm going to have to go and find a hat. I think I do have one somewhere around. Oh, there it is up there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's hiding right in there. So, be using that tomorrow. Be using some of that Bushman spray. Keep those ruddy flies away and the mosquitoes. It's one thing you don't want while you're out there is getting attacked and swamped by flies and all that other stuff. So we're going to just make sure that we've got everything in order. Um, as I said guys, I will be using the GoPro tomorrow. I'll be checking in my bag on what I've got available. I definitely will be taking some spare batteries for that. So that we can uh, record throughout the day and so on. Alrighty guys, we'll conclude today's little video. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for uh, supporting the channel. Just being, coming and watching the videos. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Until the next time guys, keep it easy. Mm -hmm.